Our story for the third activity is Psalm 23, and it's not really a story, it's a song. It's a song that comes from the book of Psalms, uh, which is in the Old Testament, in the first part of the Bible. And there are 150 Psalms, and we're interested in the one called Psalm 23. And you probably know this Psalm because we sing it as a song at school, The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. Or perhaps you know it, um, your parents might know it from singing it at school when they were small as well. It's a very famous psalm and it talks about the Lord being our shepherd and looking after us. Now we're not sure who wrote all the psalms, but some of them are attributed to a man called King David. And you might know the story of David. He was a, a shepherd boy, looked after the sheep and he ended up killing a giant named Goliath with some stones. And he wrote uh, songs, he was a holy man, and he wrote songs of praise and prayer to God. And he writes Psalm 23. And the version I've got in our children's Bible says this, Dear God, you are my shepherd. You give me all I need, my food, my drink, a place to rest. Yes, you are good indeed. When all the world seems gloomy and scary, things are near. You always take good care of me. And so I need not fear. You've given me many things and everything. Everyone can see the special loving kindness you always show to me. Or in Psalm 23 in the Bible, it says this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. So as you go and are out and about this holiday, imagine that God is taking care of you, just like a shepherd take care of his sheep. And God gives us good places to be, friends to have around us. He looks after us even when things are tough. So you can think about that psalm and that image of God taking care of you as you're outside in nature. See if you can find still waters, green pastures, Perhaps you can see some sheep freshly shorn for the summer and think about how much God cares for us. Our third challenge is related to Psalm 23, the story, the song in the Old Testament of God taking care of us like a shepherd takes care of his sheep. And we're going to go out in nature this week and see if we can find some amazing things. What can you take a photo of or a drawing of that you've seen that's beautiful outside? We've got some lovely flowers growing in our garden. My husband's a good photographer. He's taken some photos of them and perhaps you can see those now. Or maybe you live near some beautiful hills or perhaps you've grown some gorgeous vegetables or flowers in your garden. Take a picture of it. Perhaps you're growing a sunflower that's got so tall take a picture or draw it and send it in to us. Or if you're out and about, perhaps you could take a picture of the beautiful seaside or a field of sheep or a field of cows or whatever that you see in nature that you love, you think is beautiful, you think is amazing. Could be something huge like a view, could be something tiny like a spider's web with dew on in the morning or a tiny snail or a shell or a fossil anything in creation that you just think is amazing, take a picture and send it to us.